I want to give all praises to you. How about Shimi Yahu Shai? By Hashem Chakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, Shalom Laba Haryam, peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children who were slated to be delivered these last days, whose names are written in the book of life, who will not bow their knee to the image of Baal, meaning what? Live that lifestyle or, or exercise lordship, okay? Will be the, uh, uh, the true servants and ministers, okay, to the body, all right? And that entails. Uh, a particular job description Okay It's not this, this This truth is not about Having the most knowledge Okay Or, or, or You know Being a know-it-all Alright This truth is sincerely about Being a servant In every which way Shape, form, and fashion In fact The scriptures talk about Being a good steward A steward Is the top servant Okay Just like the word minister The word minister Means to, to, uh, to be a servant Right, and I got the scripture pulled up here because it ties in to um, the reason why I'm going to bring this out. All right, because living in these last days, you see the image of the world, you see the, the excuse me, the energy of the world, and what the where the people are headed towards, and the seeking of the preeminence, and that can uh, seep up into your mind to seek forth that preeminence. All right, which goes into lordship, which goes into what? The spirit of Baal, all right? Because again, the 144,000 are servants, all right? They're ministers, I'm gonna keep saying that, all right? They know how, uh, the scriptures talk about the fruits of the spirit, long suffering, kindness, temperance, all right? And, and, and those are things that make you a king, that make you of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? It says what? This is Luke chapter 22 and uh, 23, I'm going to start. And they began to inquire among themselves, talking about the disciples, right? The 12, which of them it was that should be, I'm sorry, which of them it was that should do this thing? And there was also a strife among them, which of them should be accounted the greatest. And he said unto them, the, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, the kings of the Gentiles exercised lordship. You see? Lordship is basically going into that concept of what our uh, brothers have brought out before about being a leader and a boss. There's a difference. All right, leaders in the forefront, leaders pulling the load like Yahweh Shai did. Yahweh Shai was carrying the cross. Yahweh Shai wa washed the feet of the disciples. He washed the body of Peter. All right? Peter said, not only my feet, Lord, but get my head too. All right? So, and Yahweh Shai is the ultimate king. And he exercised uh, uh, servitude, man. Even though he had the preeminence, okay? As it is stated in Colossians, the first chapter. All right? So we're supposed to follow in likewise and like manner, man. As Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Scriptures talk about honoring all men. All right, furthermore, I want to go into that uh, word or that uh, deity, but all. All right? Which is also goes into Bel. When you, when you read the book Bel and the Dragon, that was the god of the uh, uh, Babylonians and also to the meat. The Medes and uh, the 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 Medio Persian Empire, Bel, but all. All right, and the scriptures tell you what: in the last days, men shall be lovers of themselves, which goes into that spirit. All right, now the scriptures tell you to honor yourself, but the love of yourself is you putting yourself above the ministry. All right, you putting yourself, you know, higher esteem, or your demons are special. You know, or, or your, your hell is special. All right, you have that mentality in these last days. You ain't going to make it. Thus saith the Bible, man. All right, better yet, let me get this real quick. All right, this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 1. I'm going to start at verse 1. The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of 
Hiskiah, the son of Amariah, I'm sorry, in the, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. Right, because when Josiah came into power, when he came into office as the king, the first thing that he did, all right, was he got rid of the worshipers of Baal. And if I'm not mistaken, his mother was the one, all right, mainly issuing it, all right, pushing forth that, you know, that way of life, that way of thinking. Okay, when you think about the killers of the prophets, they were who? The servants of Baal. When Elijah went head up, with who? The servants of Baal. And that and Ahab was coming in that spirit with, with uh, Jezebel. Because Jezebel was what? A Canaanite. All right? And the Canaanites are the main ones. Because all these deities go back to Canaan. All right? Being in that land. Being in the holy land. All right? Which makes sense that they would have the top deity on the earth. Outside of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? Right? It said what? It says, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith Yahweh. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and I will cut off men from the land, saith Yahweh. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah. And upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem And I will cut off the remnant of Baal You see From this place In the name Of the Chamarims With the priest And them that worship the host of heaven Upon the housetops And them that worship And swear And that swear by Yahweh And that swear by Malcolm, okay, and are turned back from Yahweh and those that have not sought Yahweh nor inquired for him, right? Because when you're in that spirit, you're not in the spirit of Yahweh. Shemel you think you, you know, seeking out the Lord. Look, man, the most high Yahweh Shemel Shah gave specific instructions on how to serve him. You can't do this thing your way, all right? There's a one way street. To the kingdom of heaven Alright Anything else Is presumption Alright Anything else You coming up in another spirit That's why Paul said that We have one faith One body One doctrine One spirit Alright You know So I'm just putting this out there man Because You know we Again we're in the last days you know, you got men really feeling themselves, you know, and, and thinking that <clears throat> they, they're seeking out preeminence, man. You know, it got to be this way. You know, and, and when it's not according to the Holy Scriptures, man. All right? This thing is about service. Let me say it again. This thing is about service. Or being a servant. And you are, we are to be servants unto the body of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And until that's how you serve Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? You know, you hate to sound like a broken record, but it is what it is. You know, we bring it out in different uh, forms and fashions. All right? We re emphasize the same points through different fashions, man. And in this fashion, we talking about the spirit and the image of Baal, man. It's because you know a ton of scriptures, you can memorize scriptures, and you know you know all the breakdowns. And look, man, if Paul said what? If I, I can know mysteries, I can prophesy, but if I have not charity, I am nothing. Which charity is the opposite of the spirit of Baal or the spirit of lordship? All right. Let's go into that word Baal, Salakia. So which I got it pulled up here Alright Because I pulled up bell Right Signifying lord or master Okay Which is the same it's the Same thing Let me pull it up That's 
That's the spirit of the world, man. Do as thou wilt, man. Lordship. And you see in that where Esau turned it against Esau. Uh, 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 the scriptures tell you the course of their actions shall stand in their power. That's the spirit of Baal. The course of the actions standing in your power. Okay? And not channeling the proper uh, spirit, right? As being vessels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. As being as being a servant. I can't say that enough, man. This thing ain't about a look, neither. Let me say that, man. Like I said, the word Baal, as you should know, means Lord. Supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanites. And when you go into uh, 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 Baal, it's just, let me Google it. Yeah, popular in Egypt from the latter new kingdom, right? But all definition. It says right here, it says, is Zeus and Baal the same? Through the influence of the Arameans, all right, or the Syrians, you could say, who borrowed the Babylonian pronunciation Bel, the god ultimately became known as the Greek Belos, or Be identified with Zeus. For those early Hebrews, Baal designated Lord of Israel, just as Baal, Father North, designated the Lord of Lebanon, of Ugarit, all right? But showing you that that's the ultimate God of this world, man. Zeus. Hey, Zeus. All right? So called Jesus. <laughs> it's really Baal, man. That's the, that's the spirit that we're fighting, man. All right? Let me get this scripture real quick. That's the, that's the same fight that when you go into the history, all right? When it, it talks about let me get that real quick. I'll go, I'll go. Because what was Jeroboam and Rehoboam, man? They were servants of Baal. First Kings 16, 31. And it came to pass, and it has been a light thing for him to walk in the sins of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat. This is talking about Ahab. He took wife Jezebel the daughter of see it was a light thing from the walk into who in the sins of Jeroboam man showing you this is the same spirit that's back just like we talk about the house of Saul is back well Jeroboam Rehoboam that spirit is back too preeminence why because Rehoboam what did he do what did he do wrong he didn't want to take heed to his elders he sought to himself pre uh, even though he was the king showing you right there because in the custom of Israel the kings are not supposed to exercise lordship. Okay? And this is what the kings of Israel was doing back then. See, our people, I mean, kings, kings, kings. You, there's a specific job description as being a king of Israel. Okay? All right? It says what? That he took the wife Jezebel, the daughter of F. Baal, okay, of the Zidonians, who were the Canaanites, all right, and went and served Baal and worshipped him. You see? And what was Ahab known for? Killing the prophets. All right, him, Jezebel, and the, the prophets of Baal. All right, and that's the spirit of the world, man. That's why I want to get, you know.
a second. Let me get that scripture real quick. Second Timothy three and two. Right, I'm, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Second Timothy three and one. I know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents, and unthankful, unholy. But those are some key words right there, man. Covetous, boasters. All right. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to get that scripture as well. Oh, that's in Sirach. Sirach 3 and 18. Yeah, the greater thou art, the more humble thyself, and thou shalt find favor before the Lord. Right, because men want to seek favor amongst other men. That, I quoted that scripture earlier. All right, I think I did. If not, because I did this video prior, I had technical difficulties. But the scripture tell you, beauty is vain and favor is deceitful. All right, favor with the Lord is not deceitful. Favor with men is very, can be very deceitful. Okay, although the scriptures do tell you, you're supposed to gain the love of the, the congregation, yes, but you do that through service, through ministry. Okay? There was another one in this. Philippians 2. Philippians chapter 2, verse 3. Let nothing be done. Through strife or vain glory But in lowliness of mind Let each Esteem other Better than themselves That's something that the world doesn't do And that's just not through lip service at that Let me say, let me put that out there man Alright That's not, that. that's through action man You know, through service I'm gonna say that again Alright It's not about lip service man About Talking about things, man. All right, well, you 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 want to look, man. This thing is about being there for one another, man. And this truth, we all we got. You know, the men of the Lord, even the sisters that are out there, man. We all we got. The rest of the we the we the seven thousand men that, that that would not bow their knee to the image of Baal. You know, you really got to take these things in consideration, you know? Scripture tell you what. First Corinthians. First Corinthians 8 and 1. Now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we all have knowledge knowledge puffeth up but charity edifieth you see let's go into that word charity man this ain't talking about money man i don't know i don't know what you've been told <laughs> but charity don't got nothing to do with money this is a whole nother kind of charity man 
like uh, Shamash Shamash Juan quoted that scripture yesterday, man. Yesterday, gold and silver, I have none. Paul said that. Give me one second. I'm gonna get that too. Let's go into that word charity. Agape, affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love. Okay. Acts chapter 3, verse 6. I'm sorry, Peter said this. The water you all watching me out shot. Peter said this. Right? It says, Then Peter said, Gold and silver, I and gold, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I thee. In the name of Yahweh Shah Mashiach of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Right. Look, man, we ain't it ain't about the riches, if you will. It's not about the tangible things, man. It's about the things that's being done in secret, if you will, man. All right? You know? The, uh, I, I'll say this. You know? That uh, secret love, if you will. Like, you know, like I brought out before, the, uh, 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 the, uh, the intimacy between men. You no know, locker room talk. You know? A um, uh, 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 barbershop talk. You know? Building one another up. That's what this thing is about. In these last days Alright Anything outside of that You coming in the spirit of Baal The rest of the world Alright And the rest of the world Is going to perish I read that scripture earlier In Zephaniah The scripture tell you The fashion of this world Is going to pass away That's the image of the beast Essentially Do as thou wilt Which is the spirit of Baal Lordship Point blank period man And I'm going to close on that Call Lord Yahweh Shai. Bashimakakudash, Shalom.